For this video, I'll be walking you through how to create two types of progress indicators. One great for upload and download progress, another great for forms that require a different set of information to be input. Support the channel by liking or commenting on this video, subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Now, let's dive in. I have here a simple style for the body to center things vertically and horizontally with display flex. I'll create a progress indicator with a paragraph with a strong tag containing the loading label and a span tag that will contain the percentage. I have not specified max or value yet for the progress tag. I'll come back to that later. I'll make it 300 pixels wide and for the paragraph tag, no margin, 100% line height, display flex so I can space the label and percentage tag apart, font size is 14 pixels and color it dark gray. To style the progress bar, the first thing is to remove the appearance, the style set by the browser since it changed browser to browser. Now I can set the max and value so we can see the progress fill bar. For pixels high, rounded corners will overflow hidden so we can see the curved corners. To style the background, I'll need to target the progress bar pseudo element which has different prefixes for different browsers, similar to the ones that I set for appearance. To style the filling bar, we target the progress value pseudo element and make it dark gray. I'll also make the bar 100% white so it fills the container. To simulate the loading indicator progress, I'll target the progress bar, the strong and span tag elements and then create a load function which takes percentage value which I'll use to set the value of the bar. Next I'll use the percentage to update the text content in the strong tag which are around florid. Then if the percentage is less than 100% I'll call request animation frame to simulate pass of time which I pass a function that calls our load function incrementing the percentage by 0.5. Else I'll update the label to say it's completed. Then have a set amount to restart the loading after it is done with two seconds wait. Now if I call the load function, we can see that the bar is filling and when it's complete, it waits two seconds and start again. To see this in practice, I have created a video showing how to create a resumable multi-file uploader in plain JavaScript. You can check for even more reference and better loading system around it. Now let's create a progress header for forms. Excellent to show how many steps the user needs to go through to finish something. Maybe create an account, set up a project, sign up, onboarding, etc. For this example, I'll use five paragraphs with span of step class where I'll set the numbers to indicate the step and a strong tag containing the label to describe the step. I'll use the completed class to indicate that the step is done. I'll make the progress header 650 pixels wide, height of 20, Gray background display flex so I can spread it, its content evenly apart. For the paragraph tags, I'll simply remove the margin and set position relative. Now for the individual step tags, I'll make it 20 by 20, circle it with border radius of 50%, display flex to center thing vertically and horizontally with gray background. Font size 14 pixels, Z index one higher so it stays on top with a nice purple border. Now to make the circles with numbers to sit on each corner spread evenly apart, I'll need to remove the strong tags from the contacts by making them position absolute and we got what we want. I'll proceed by setting min width of 100 pixels, center tags, position it left 50%, top 30 pixels, transform translating negative 50% on the X axis so it stays centered with font size 12 pixels and dark text color. So if the step is completed, I'll make the step tag filled of purple and white tags. Because that changes, I transition with 0.3 seconds delay. I'll come back to explain why is that later on. The bar is too thick, so I'll use a linear gradient to set the background of gray 9 pixels from the top, 100% wide and 4 pixels tall. I'll also add another linear gradient on top to simulate the bar filling, which will match the steps fill and border color. It has same dimension, but I'll be changing the width of it to simulate it filling up. I'll set it to 0 for now. And again, because it will change, I'll make sure to transition the background size to have the animation. I put this in HTML so we can style it. I'll comment it out and create it again from JavaScript so we can have a better control over it. Here on the JavaScript side, I'll create a step progress function that takes an array of labels to use. Inside, I'll first need to determine how many parts I need to split the bar into. So I'll divide 100 by the step labels array length minus 1. This is because first step is 0% and I don't want to count it. Then I'll create an element which I'll give the class of progress header similar to the one in HTML. 
And for its inner HTML, I'll go over the step labels and return a paragraph tag where I'll use the index plus one for the step number. And I'll use the labels for the strong tag content. I'll have to join it at the end so we have a join string of all these p tags. I'll set the elements with this and proceed to instantiate the step progress with an array and define few steps of this process. It will simply mimic the different steps needed to create an account. Then I'll simply use the element to append it to the body. Seems like a misspelled HTML here, it needs to be all uppercase. Now I need a way to update status, so I'll expose an update progress method that takes a percentage and if it is a number, I'll divide it by the percent part to get the index of the element to update. Then I'll use the percentage to update the bar background size and if you remember I set two linear gradients and only the first row to simulate the progress. So I'll keep the other one size the same. Now if I call this function with 50, we can see that the bar fills up to 50% completing three steps. In order to see the animation I'll call it from a set timeout. And it seems I misspelled transition here so I'll fix and try again. Now it works. Now we need to address the step circle. So for each children of this container, if the index is less or equal to the percent of step index, I'll add glass of completed, otherwise remove it. And we can see the circles fill after the bar fill, which is awesome. That's why I added the delay here. So it does not fill before the bar animate to reach it. For the final test, I'll add more set timeouts that will fill the bar to different percentage at a different time interval. We can see the bar fill at different percentage to match the progress over time. Super nice. So if I add an additional step to 60%, it will fill the bar but will not mark the step as complete unless you reach it. Like that, we have our progress header. Let me know what you think in the comments or like this video to support the channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.